Hey guys, it's Dom here, and we're back in Oblivion doing the Knights of Nine DLC. And today, we're going to start looking for some more armor to join our Holy Crusading collection. So, what if we speak to this guy? I've not seen such strength. Yeah, I know, Could right? You be... No, you cannot. You are simply a noble knight. I'm actually the Mad God, but uh, I mean, tell me about Sir Beric. One of the mightiest knights of my day. Cool. Right, let's actually start to speak to the knights, so we're going to tell us where the gear is. I am at your service, Commander. Um, no, I want to learn where items are. I wish to see you succeed where I failed. I was on the path to the boots of the Crusader, but died before I reached them. Oh, okay. Do you wish to learn what little I know? Ah, uh, go on. I cannot tell you exactly how to find the boots, for that will be up to Kinnereth. I can tell you to seek out her priests, though. West of the Imperial City, on the edge of the Great Forest, is a shrine. You will find them there, and they will tell you what you need to know. Okay, that's cool. May your sword strike true. How about you, Sir Torrell? How may I serve you, Commander? I'm just some random guy. I'm not really a commander. Walk with a greetings. No. May your if you are true to the teachings of Julianus. It may be possible for you to find the shield of the Crusader. Okay. When the order crumbled, I set out on my own. After years of searching, I found the shield and brought it to Fort Bulwark for safekeeping. You didn't just... Uh... With the help of a few trusted friends, I began work to keep the shield safe for all eternity. I never saw my work finished. Oh, for God's sake. I died defending the fort from those who would take and misuse the shield. I never saw our work finished. I trust that the others carried on without me. Okay, so tell me about this fort. It lies in the southeast of Cyrodiil, near the Black Marsh border. If all went according to plan, it should be very well guarded now. Yeah, but it's bandits that guard it. Believe you in lazy yourself bugger. and use your knowledge wisely. You will pass through unharmed, and the shield will be yours. Okay. Uh, what about you, Ralvus? You have my tribute, Sir Knight. In 300 years, none have passed the gauntlet. In 300 years, we have never known. It's because no one really cares, or has been sent but here. for the first time, it seems that someone may succeed where we have failed. I see in you the chance to redeem our souls and restore the order. And now, I must ask you to press forward where I could not. I must ask you to face the challenge of Zenithar. I just want free loot, to be honest. Below the chapel of Zenithar in Leowin, there is a shrine to the great craftsman, Saint Calidus. Those seeking the mace must pray before the shrine. When you bow, you will receive a vision. Or perhaps not, it is unclear. The priest saw that my body never moved, but it felt so real. You, you got roofied, the mate. Mace, separated from you by a great chasm. The chasm represents your doubt. Your faith must be your guide across it. Cool. Uh, what faith? This is what I know. As I said, my faith was weak. I did not understand the test, and I fell from the platform each time I tried to cross. I have told you all that I know. If you seek the mace, travel to Leowin's chapel. Cool. Well, I've got a lot of faith, Go but it's kind it. of in the Daedra, so, uh, yeah, it's probably not going to work. And what about you? I know where you may find the gauntlets of the Crusader, for I was the one who lost them. Good job, Though then, at losing they stuff. Are, they are Idiot. still lost. I believe there is something you must do in order to retrieve them. Would you listen to my tale and learn of the gauntlet's fate? I suppose so. When the order fractured, I followed Sir Beric into war, taking the gauntlets with me. When it was over, I returned to Cyrodiil. I attempted to return to the service of the Nine, but the war had changed me. I no longer had sympathy for the weak or pity for the suffering. In the brief time I was there, I did more to hurt the chapel than help it. It was there that I was cursed. Okay, gets the point. Your attitude does not bode well. Nevertheless, 
You may yet succeed where I failed. You're just waffling, mate. <laughs> I failed to show mercy, and Stendar cursed me for it. Right my wrongs. Show mercy where it is needed, and Stendar may grant you the gauntlets. Seek out the chapel of Stendar and Coral. The priests there can assist you. Okay, cool. Um, anything else that you want to say? No, not really. Right, okay, so we're going to be churching a lot this episode. What I mean by churching is pretending to be very religious to get some cool items. I'm also going to need to pray so I can get my magicka back from my crippling schooner addiction. Right, so I believe we're heading to a shrine of Kinnereth in the middle of the woods, or just outside the woods to the west of the Imperial City. And what's it now? I'm here to get some items, not go to war. Not yet, at least. Oh, there it is. Hello. All are welcome here. Okay. What brings you to the altar of Kinnereth, my child? Uh, the boots of the Crusader. You would seek the holy relic Kinnereth has bestowed upon the world. Then you must prove yourself worthy. Okay. Kinnereth's creations guard her relic, and you must pass the test before you may be granted the boots. Uh, what test? I cannot say what it will be, for I do not know. Kinnereth herself will decide in what manner you shall be tested. All I can do is direct you to the Grove of Trials, and remind you to heed Kinnereth's teachings. Fear and respect nature and all her creation. Okay, where? Not far from here, to the west. Nestled within the great forest, it is a place many would overlook. I warn you that it is unwise to take anyone with you. You should go there alone. Oh, trust me, I don't have any friends, so I can go Indeed. by myself. Nature itself is Kinnereth's domain. All its creatures are her wards. You would do well to remember this when it comes time for your test. I'm not doing the revision. Then proceed directly Just to the wing it first as time. your test has begun. Kinnereth may choose to guard you along the way. That is up to her. Good luck. Take care. Okay. Well, I'm guessing this is the grove then by the obviously placed rock, which is going to be removed as soon as I pass the test. I mean, what? So, where's where's the test? Is it going to be like multiple choice, you know? Maybe a big old 20 marker on, I don't know, why bears are so much cooler than lions or something silly. Where is my test? Is it like under these plants or is it... No? Oh, hello! That is one chunky bear. Look how huge it is! Oh, okay. Oh, no. Can't catch me, can't catch me. Oh god, it can. It can. It really can. I made no attempts to fight back. Cool. Right, well, I mean, I'm just going to hold upside down while I read that. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Enjoy your uh, life, I guess, being the biggest alpha in the world. Now, this door looks cool, but I don't think it ever gets used again as an asset. Here we go. Look at this little grove. You alright? You just spend your life standing in these spots, watching over some fresh old creps. Right, let's, let's slap them on. Just so we stop looking as lame as we currently do. So, I'll replace them with these. There we go. Next person who passed the test can get some Imperial Armor. Basically just being a charity here. Is 
Do I need to go back to speak to those women? No, it's all done. Okay, so let's go do Stendhal's Mercy, I suppose. Let's try and get a full set of the armor. Although I'm going to be missing the Greaves for a bit. I think they come later, though. Hey, you. Oh, hello. Well, that's not very nice. You know, look at me. I'm clearly someone important by the blue tail. Just learn your place, you filthy elf. Oh, that was quick. Oh, okay. Never mind, I'll try again later. Maybe ah. now. Oh, okay. Look at you with your mood swings. What do you want? What brings you here, my son? We're not related. Ah, yes. The gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. They're more of a novelty these days. Their armor. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to pick the gauntlets up. What is your interest in them, if I may ask? Actually, I want to ask this first. What youngsters? There are no children in Oblivion unless you're hiding them somewhere. Which wouldn't be too surprising for a priest. Anyway, uh, I've come to learn their story. Yes. Well, I don't know the whole thing. A great many years ago, a knight of the old order did something terrible. And the gauntlets just fell off. They dropped to the floor right where he stood. And no did one he swear? could get them. It was a sign of the curse placed upon this knight by Stendhal, I think. That curse still lingers on today, in fact. Poor Kellen. What's a Kellen? Oh, why, he's a descendant of that very night from so long ago. The curse has affected his family all these years. He suffers from it now. He came here from Hammerfell seeking a cure, but, ah, well, there's really nothing that can be done for him, I think. He may know more of the story than I. Perhaps you should speak with him if he's feeling well enough. You know what I find is a great cure to any curse? The thing I, I like to call a chokeberry or a poisoned apple. Cures you of everything, including life, and wow, they got a lot of wine in here for a church. What is it? Is there a cure? <laughs> Has Arelda found a cure? I know there's something he's not telling. God, he's so eager, he's talking through a door. You know, we're going to stick with it. Ah, so you've heard it, have you? Terrible curse. Been in the family almost longer than anyone can remember. 300 years. When I was younger, I could live with it. it. Wasn't so bad. But it's only gotten worse over time. What even is like the curse I doing to you? To the place it all happened. In the hopes that something could be done. I fear I haven't much time left otherwise. Cool. The elder has let me stay. Mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. I swear he knows more than he Probably because he's bored of you. I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with Arelda, there's something else there. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds apologetic. Guilty, even. Why would that be? Someone studies psychology. Even does he have to hold back information? Ugh. I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows as a dying man's last wish. Okay, let's see what you look like, because if you're so afraid of talking to me in person, I mean, it can't be that bad. Bye. Ugh. Sorry, I just... His hair's a bit too frizzy. Oh, no, he's, he, he's all right, I guess. Just going to take this. I'm the Divine Crusader. I'm not. I'm not stealing. I'm just. Um. Adventuring. All those items. Right, where is this. Long ass lanky man? Hey, welcome, Knight Commander. I'm just some dude who's stealing a bunch of relics, okay? It's a horrible thing, truly. Okay, that's not going but, anywhere, is it? But if it is the will of the Nine. Then there is little that can be done. Yeah, you're clearly bullshitting. I, I cannot face him. I, 
I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him, truly I do, but I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. What do you mean? The curse. I know what would lift it, but I cannot do it. Why not? The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, and I fail Stendhal every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's oh, altar? Pray to stand If you want me to do it so badly, you could have just asked. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, sure. Right, let's get the old lay on hands out. Where are you, Kellen? Right. This is going to feel a bit like a thing we like to call Viagra. How did you? I feel good. I feel good. Oh God! I don't feel. It's like really kicked death. in. I feel like running. Okay, <laughs> you do you. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, I'd rather not. You're still a bit on the ugly side. Okay, right. The gauntlets are mine now. I've done something good. You're a bit of a failure, aren't you? Hi. I can't believe you were willing to do that for Kellen. To sacrifice your own well-being without hesitation. I just wanted the free items. What business do I have acting as a priest if I'm not willing to do all I can in helping those who need it? Perhaps I need to rethink my course. life. Oh, okay. That works. Please, leave me be. I need time to think on what I've seen. Okay, you just want to join the you gang, too. don't you? I can tell. You're on a blue tail like me. Right, well that's Coral done, so you know, we'll go down to Leowin. And, I mean, we'll pretty much just leave it at those three items for today. Get some of the more simple ones out of the way and done with. Okay, so next time we'll really, like, ram down and kind of go on a massive crusade against all the bandits who are hiding away the shield of me, I guess, now. What's up? I've heard of you. You're the one restoring the Knights of the Nine, aren't you? I'm just plundering a bunch of old stuff. Uh, y yeah, I'm... I am, I guess. My name is Kennedy Saholan. Like you, I am a servant of the Nine, specifically of Zenithar. At least you can miss us. I came here seeking his mace. However, I could not pass the test. I'm just... I'm no crusader, but that doesn't mean that I cannot serve Zenithar. In light of recent attacks, I've signed on to protect the chapel. Fair with a blade, and by my honor, I'll serve the nine in any way I can. You just seem like a bit of a bum, like to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna go. Very well. That guy's so boring. Savi, Counts Mage and Castle Healer. I was expecting you to be the local schooner dealer, but oh well. I'm sure they'll be fine if I just go here and pray. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Well, that was easy. These guys are a bit weak, to be honest. You know, I might not even bother taking this. I changed my mind very quickly. I'm a loot whore. Tell you what, I'm not really much of a mace person, but oh god, no, I really am not. Look how terribly stattered that is. Yep, no, we're going back for the sword. Okay, we might have to go to the mace actually, because it could be able to hit them. Oh god, look at this. It's literally just a flail. Should have some magic, right? I'm the worst crusader in the world. 
just try to plunder this. Yep, yeah, no. Stacking it every like five seconds. At least I'm getting my blunt skill up. Some form of action in this episode, so it's not completely just talking. And I'll take the erectoplasm for later. Yeah, you know what? It might be a holy relic, but it's not a longsword. Oh, this guy. I mean, I respect that you went to left-handed. Because, you know, as a fellow lefty, it's a very cool thing. But really? I mean, I'd actually much prefer to take your armor, to be honest. Will you fall down it? Calm down, mate. Oh, so this is what an Umaril is. Never mind. Okay, that was just a weird trippy I, vision. I can't believe it. We survived. By the grace of the Nine, we survived. I thought you were meant to be God in no this place. No small part to you, sir. Oh, By your useless. will and the will of the Nine, the Chapel of Zenithar is held against this blasphemer. I should just crusade against sir, the holy people at this rate. I pledge my sword. I wish to join you in your quest to restore the Knights of the Nine and defeat this... Umaril. Yeah, sure. I don't even know what it is, but go on then. I can then. only hope to match your bravery and valor. I am honored to serve by your side. Allow me to fetch more suitable equipment. I shall return shortly. I hope you don't. But anyway, with the slight slaughter of these Aurorans, very cool armor, not really the best axe holding technique, we're going to end the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Love how you're all supporting the channel at the moment. It really means a lot to me. And I hope to see you next time with whatever that is.